Hi, I'm Ali Clifford from Kids Chaos and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to make um, everyday objects you find around the house, whether it's food, um, bits and pieces, Lego, what have you, how we can normalise uh, maths um, <laughs> in the day to day. I guess it's really good fun to show how fractions are really everywhere, aren't they? Well, absolutely. So, so I'm just going to there? start with a very simple pizza, which clearly is homemade, as ever. Yummy. So I'm going to just stand up and show you how we can cut it in half. Uh -huh. so, oh, yeah, we have half. so this is like ways of how you can talk to your kids about fractions absolutely. on a daily basis. So we can do half, and then guess what this is? Ooh, a quarter. Quarters. Brilliant. Okay. And I guess it's kind of helping visualise fractions as well, isn't it? Absolutely. So then, should we keep going? Yeah. Should we do it this way or this way? Let's do it. Let's do it. Well. Let's Eight. keep it simple, eh? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. So that's Eight. one way. So basically, at the dinner table, you're having pizza, and this is how you can show halves, quarters, and eighths really quickly and easily. And guess who gets the biggest Brilliant. slice? Well, they should actually all be the same well, size. Well, they should be. <laughs> <laughs> but it is it kind of the principle. It's of the it. principle. Yeah. Show me okay. what's what's over here. So we've got Lego. Again. So you can see different colour bricks. Oh, I've got peach all over my hands now. So, okay, look, one unit. And then you can divide these up. You can say you're demonstrating a whole, two halves and four quarters. And I guess that's really simple, but you could actually get loads more bricks out, lots of different colours, and just show thirds, sixths, yes. all that kind Talking of stuff. Talking bricks, here's some that we've played with before which uh, I don't know whether you're familiar with these come in all different colors and these have been really brilliant to play with to show different uh, fractions and just basic adding up when the kids were a lot younger yeah and, and you're going to pop some of those um, a link to those in your comments aren't you yeah sure excellent great toys as well what, do you mean, what are you going to show with an apple well really come on fractions? isn't it big, big. <laughs> <laughs> slightly obvious here so I'm going to show you I'm going to, have to move the pizza oh yes good idea Oh, there goes the apple. Yeah. So I mean, I guess what this is about, it's not about accuracy, but it's about just everyday talking halves, quarters, yeah, actually, thirds. Let's thirds. Try Let's third. do a third. Mm, so, mm, I like your cutting skills. Maybe we're about all there. That's a bit tricky, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Especially if you have three children or two children and you're all having a piece. Great. So now you can look at thirds. Yeah, Love it. Nice organic apple. <laughs> and then the, you're going to do thirds from the Satsuma too? Well, let's see what's in there. Who knows? Is there, is there a given to what's inside? Is it going to be a surprise? Let's have a look and see how many we've got I mean, this here. really is making fractions every day, isn't mm -hmm. it? It's not, so it's it's not about accuracy of the fraction, but it's about the concept of pieces, isn't it? How many have we got here? You can do a bit of counting there as well if you've got younger children. So I would love that. One, look. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, ten. ten. So you can do tenths, two yeah, tenths. That's all right. Let's have a look. Four tenths. Yeah, there you go. So pull them in half, and then and so on, as you say, Maggie. Excellent. Um, I just have one, one, one more thing actually to show you, which is Goodness, which you can do on much. the tram or the train or whatever sheet of paper, whether it's a sheet from the newspaper. Folded in half. Could be your, your tram ticket or your bus ticket. Exactly. In half. And then half again, which makes. Come on, children. Quarters. <laughs> Quarters. Yeah. Should we do it again? If you want to. And I guess, again, with the paper or anything that you're folding, you could either just sh physically show your fractions, which you're going to do in a minute, or you can even do the relationship between a half, a quarter, an eighth, a sixteenth. So you could. Well, let's, let's, let's stick with this. So you could take a section then, and then that is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one eighth. Excellent. Okay. And then colour in another one, and then you've got one quarter. So you, you can show that relationship between two eighths and one quarter really quickly, can't you? Nice. Wonderful. Thank you, Ali. This is such a fun way of looking and discussing at fractions um, and making maths a bit more accessible in the home. <laughs> <laughs> Just take that off. 